morning, Shawnee, and welcome to the Renegade Morning Show. Today's Friday, October 1st, and it's a day two. I'm Nick. And I'm Dylan. And to kick off our show, Danny Talks About Movies has finally returned from last year. Finally? I'm starting to get worried. Danny Talks About Movies. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new season of Danny Talks About Movies, a show where every once in a while I'll talk about movies for about two minutes. And boy, do I have a movie to start off with this time. Dear Evan Hansen is not very good. But it could have been a lot worse. For those of you who don't know the plot, it's very complicated, so go look it up or something, I don't know. And the show itself is seriously flawed, don't get me wrong, but in the confines of a stage musical, there's more suspension of disbelief. This obviously isn't what a school looks like. People obviously don't just stand in a black void and sing their emotions. You can see the actors right there in front of you. So you can easily tell that it's not supposed to be as realistic. However, taking this show and placing it in a bland, sterile, flatly lit high school makes it seem more realistic, thereby making the flaws rise to the surface a lot easier. Seriously, what is the difference between this and this? I also probably don't need to say this, but Ben Platt is almost 30 years old now, and he looks even older than that. Why? Why is he playing a high schooler? Oh wait, because his dad's the producer. Anyway, also, every single character in this movie is a villain. The titular Evan shows zero remorse for his actions because they completely remove the character that represents his conscience, and they remove the song that calls him out for his actions in the show. Removing these two things was a terrible idea because it doesn't show Evan as conflicted or in any turmoil. It just shows him as a jerk who manipulates everyone. He's the worst one, but pretty much everyone else is terrible also, but we really do not have time to get into it here. So in short, it's a lot better than Cats. But Cats is also a lot more fun. Like, this is just boring and bland. Well, I'll have to say, I am very excited that this segment is finally back. Me too, Dylan. Well, Marching Band has a home show this weekend. Let's check out them preparing for it. Now taking the field from Medford, New Jersey, your Shawnee High School Marching Band! Hi, my name is Lily Kent and I'm the drum major in the marching band, which means that I stand up on the really tall podium and I conduct. My name is Brian McNaughton. I am the field commander in the marching band, which basically means keep everyone on the field in line during practices. And best part, I play the high notes on the trumpet. So basically, marching band involves a lot of uh, discipline, focus, and it's a lot of fun. So you'll get kids who are very proficient at their instrument or kids who have never played an instrument before. And we basically take them in, we help them play the music, and then we march around the field. And it's a lot of fun. My favorite part about marching band is definitely getting to hang out with everyone during the competitions and seeing all of the other people, all the other bands perform and see what they are doing with their time. Our home show is on October 2nd and we are so excited and we hope to see you all there. Shawnee Marching Band performs at 9.15 p.m. But make sure to check out all the other schools, too. The admission is free for all Shawnee students and staff. Next, Danny made a segment promoting Shawnee TV. We'll <laughs> 
So come down to the studio every Monday during Lunch and Learn and after school. We also meet every morning right off the bus to go live for the Shawnee Wake Up or Renegade Morning Show. Last Friday was the activity fair. Jade went down to check it out. Good morning, Shawnee. Today's the activity fair. We went around the gym to ask about some clubs. So what is Robotics Club about and why should we join? So Robotics Club is about building a robot over a six-week competition period that starts normally at the beginning of the year. We do all sorts of parts of the robot, so the electrical wiring, the mechanical building of the robot, the programming of the robot, and the team itself has other stuff under the management sub-team, which is stuff like uh, graphics design, project management, and photography. For why you should join it, it's a really fun experience. It's like a sport, but it's much more intellectual. It's like an engineering and more problem-solving kind of sport. So what is Shawnee Photo Club about and why should someone join? So Shawnee Photo Club it gives you a good chance to take photos, share your work, and even if you don't do photography but are interested in learning, uh, learning a, a, like a DSLR camera or just taking phone photography, it's a good chance. It is a free access club, so that means you don't have to pay an activity to, free to join. And we meet during Lunch and Learn. So what is the gardening club about and why should someone join? So we plant around the school, bringing color to the Shawnee environment, giving oxygen to the earth. We are also growing apple trees this year, which is really exciting. We learn how to propagate and care for house plants. Like I said, we're planning mums next meeting. It is really, really awesome. It's a great community. It counts for both NHS and volunteer hours, which is, I think we're the only club that does that. So it's a great time, great community, and good for the earth. So what is FCCLA about and why should someone join? So FCCLA stands for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. And basically, we do competitive events and compete against other schools in New Jersey and then against other states. And it's just, it's a fun club. We do community service stuff too. It's a really good club if you're interested in any family consumer sciences. And you have to have taken or have been in a family consumer science class to be in the club. So what is Kids for Wish Kids Club about and why should we join? So we raise money for children and families who are going through cancer and the club meets once a month. And there's a Kids for Wish Kid of the Month and we pick one every month to raise money for it to help them make their wish. Well, Shawnee, as you can see, there are tons of clubs and activities you can join. I will say a lot of those clubs seemed really cool and I may be considered joining one. Me too. For more information, go to the school's clubs and activities page. Well, that's all for today. Tune in every Monday through Thursday for the Shawnee Wake Up and every Friday for the Renegade Morning Show. I'm Dylan Volinsky. And I'm Nick Capella. And have a great weekend, Shawnee.